All right, what's going on again? Another video for another separate day. But for today's video, we're gonna go over how to fix this. So you guys can tell, I actually have this trim, which is OEM Chrome, and I went ahead and plastic dipped it about a couple years ago, and it's slowly fading away. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove that, get that all cleaned up, and black that out again. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and correct that. So we're gonna go ahead, remove it, remove the uh, plastic dip, and then we're gonna repaint it black. So instead of using plastic dip, I'm gonna use some actual black paint and primer, and uh, we'll see how long that one lasts. So just because I know this specific, this one specifically works, I got the Krylon black. <clears throat> so it's a black gloss and it's a paint and primer. The same exact paint I used for my headlights. So that's what stood a couple years and looks pretty mint. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that for the window as well. So it's a pretty simple process. All you gotta do is open up the door and it's one screw and the type of screw it is is a Phillips. So for the front door, you're gonna see it right here. So there's the front one. So you're gonna remove that. And then for the back door, it's actually gonna be towards the front of the back door and it resides right there so you're gonna remove that guy for the back and then you're gonna remove this one for the front so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick all right so once you have that screw out all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little crumb piece you're gonna slide it to the rear of the car and then you're gonna pick it up and at the same time, you're gonna shimmy it right on out. As simple as that. The one screw, and pop it on out. And here is your aftermath. You have one, one window trim subtracted. So let's go ahead and knock out the back. Same process. So for the front side, we pulled it back and up. And on the rear side, we're gonna push it forward and up. All right, window trims are removed. We get all that dirt hiding underneath it. So we'll go ahead and clean all that up before we put that back on as well. But here are our two trims. I have the other two removed already. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and have to remove this plastic dip. So what I'm gonna use is Goo Gone and a little scotch pad. And uh, we'll use that to remove their plastic dip residue. All right, here's my handy dandy Goo Gone. Just gonna go ahead and spray across, let it sit for a little bit, and it should wipe off relatively easy. Like I said, I already did the right hand side of the car, and uh, this came off pretty clean. So, those are ready for paint. As soon as that's done, we'll go ahead and start painting. Alright, here is my scotch pad. Let's go ahead and see how easy these come off. Yeah, so like I said, I'm not even putting any pressure. Look at that, that just comes right off. Like almost one sweep of motion. That's pretty good. And this was about three or four coats of Plasti Dip, by the way. So it lasted a relatively good amount of years. All right, so nothing fancy here. I just have some dish soap on a sponge and I'm using regular water. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all that goo gone off. That way everything sticks to a nice even surface. So uh, I kind of need two hands, I'll be right back. Alright, it's officially time to paint. So as you guys can see, I have all four trims. All the plastic dip has been removed with the goo gone. There's a scotch pad and two things are good with the scotch pad. One, it removes it and two, it abrades it lightly. That way you have a good surface to paint on. So the paint I'm using has paint and primer so I don't need to go ahead and worry about two different coatings. So here it is. I'm gonna show you guys what I did real, real quick for a quick second. So if you can tell, I do have tape. So I have tape on the, the weather strip. That way I don't really wanna paint that. And it would look kinda of weird and then I don't know how well it's gonna stand up. So I do have frog tape on here covering uh, those two lips. So uh, that's what you see here. So we're gonna go ahead and start painting. 
All right, if it's your first time ever painting, your first coat always wants to be light. All right, so that's what we did here. I'm gonna go for about three or four coats. Four coats later, let's go ahead and peel this tape and see what's up. So like I said, there's the weather strips that I did not want to paint. Sorry, I need two hands again. <laughs> there you have it, here's our little Sunday project. So I'm gonna let it finish drying off completely. And then, uh, yeah, we'll slap it back on the car because you can definitely tell it's missing something. Paint on this isn't fully dried, so I'm kind of hanging on to the weather strip and the bottom of it. Not gonna hurt it though, but reverse process. So you wanna line up the long end like that with the pillar, and that's how you're gonna remember which way these go on. So I'm just gonna drop it in. Slide it back ever so slightly. Make sure it's pushed down all the way. And it should be good. So you want these to line up with that pillar. Flush with that, keep the rain out. Come back and install that screw. And that will be it. All right. And there you have it. Definitely looks way cleaner than before. So I like the gloss black look to it instead of the Plasti Dip. And of course, you don't see any chrome. So I like that effect of it as well. But it's gonna be the same process for the rest of the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all those other trims on and I'll show you guys the finished product and close out this vlog. All right, project of the day is done. Definitely looks a lot cleaner. What you guys think? Go ahead and show you guys the other side, even though it looks the exact same. <clears throat> and here's the other side. Pretty happy with the outcome, like I said. Pretty quick and easy and simple to do. And, uh, yeah, not too bad. So you guys can kind of see where I went gloss and then where the weather strip is. So, not too bad. But uh, yeah. So if you guys like this vi little video, give it a big thumbs up. Helps the channel out. And if you guys want to see anything else similar to this, please let me know. I have a Mazda 3 that I might be doing stuff too like this. And uh, also I'm thinking about gloss blacking a lot more stuff on this car. Let me down, Let me know down in the comments below you with it or be against it but anyways just want to say thanks for watching as always uh, love you guys continue to support and until next time so never live your life on idle and i'll see you guys in the next one peace